Hey, what's going on guys? It's on your rings. First, I just want to apologize for the birds. They're squawking pretty loud right now. Well, they were. They'll, they'll probably chime back in here soon uh, because my mom's eating pizza and they want some, but they're not getting it, little devils. So anyway, update 3 has been announced for Gears of War. I made a video on update 2 and it got a good bit of views and you guys enjoyed it, so we're going to do it again. <clears throat> It was updated 42 minutes ago, so we're going to go over it. I'm going to silently read the notes to myself, and then when I see something worth announcing or whatever, I'll speak out on it and tell you guys what I think and whatnot. So you can just read it along with me. You can pause if you need to. So it looks like they're finally cracking down on combating quitters. Core and competitive play. New features. As of this update, players who quit at core competitive match will be suspended from all matching and making of any kind for a limited time to discourage dropout behavior. So kind of like League of Legends, with the biggest time punishment is going to the first player to quit the match. In addition, the more you quit, the longer the suspension you will see from playing matchmaking. <clears throat> if your connection temporarily dropped out or your pet trip power cable all is not lost, players can rejoin the match they left, provided it's still in progress for up to five minutes from the time they quit. That's a good option because, you know, there are times where connection just fucks up on you or your animal decides to just, like, trip your wire. <clears throat> okay. So it looks like they're finally crack down on that. Cracking down on that, sorry. Uh, spectator mode improvements. Looks like they're going to work better on the uh, spectator mode, make it look better and whatnot. You guys can pause that if you want to read more. Other fixes... Skill ranking will now be visible at the end of the match scoreboard. Added spawn swap UI when the spawns flip and versus. Increase the energy cost of the Hammer of Dawn strike and horn. Aw oh, man. I don't even have the max Hammer of Dawn yet. And I can't even use that. <clears throat> uh, increase escalation win and loss bonuses. Uh, win bounty rewards. Turn criteria and rewards for King of the Hill bounties. Horde skill cards can now be equipped and unequipped in the Horde skills inventory. Oh good, because they broke that in the last update to where you had to actually unequip your current card before you could swap it and it was really annoying not being able to swap on the go and stuff. Uh, improved UI on the turret heat bar, okay. Uh, improved UI, or added UI notification to show new cards in your collection when opening gear packs. Uh, added a slider control to how long text chat remains out vis visible after a message. Long shot can only shoot through walls if positioned. Okay, that's good, of course. <clears throat> added duplicates only filter to the inventory menu. Fixed an issue where audio slowly cut out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so it doesn't look like it's a huge update. It looks to me like they're mostly focusing on versus. There's not many horde changes. There's a couple in here. Uh, of course, that's good for you versus players. I don't play. I don't play versus, so it's not good for me. But you know, it's it's okay. Um, so that's really it. I hope that there's another bigger update coming. You know, down the road. Uh, also, there were some things here about the series or whatever. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's something to do with versus. Oh wait. Maybe not. Let me read it. Ah. Hundreds of new cards to collect. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Ah oh, man, they said don't buy any packs until they confirm it's working. That might mean that all those packs I currently have, my 50 horde packs, my operation packs, those may not contain these quote unquote new cards or whatever. That's okay though, I mean, <clears throat> I don't really care too much. I mean, it'd be nice to have them, but what's done is done. But what I might do though is, and I'm going to save up my credits instead of buying more I'll just wait to buy them until this new update drops. That's pretty cool, though. It looks like it's dropping tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. All right, well, that's it for this video, guys. This one was pretty short. Not too many changes, as I said, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.